Good afternoon, my name is John Kilroy and we're here for the Easter Revision course of Irish History, okay, which we're going to divide into five parts, really. We're going to start with the exam itself, we're going to look a little bit at the research project, that's what we're going to do for the first little slot. Then we're going to talk about the exam itself and look at some exam questions from sovereignty and partition. And uh, then we're going to go through and do some essay plans, okay, uh, on the three areas of sovereignty and partition. And in the final, that will take up the first three slots, your first three lessons, your first three 75 minute slots. And then on the last two slots, we're going to be looking at Northern Ireland Part 1, Northern Ireland Part 2, okay. So, if we get down to uh, work straight away, right, we can see the leaving certificate, history. It's made up of five parts, as you well know. One is the RSR, the Dresden Project. Number two is the DBQ. And number three is your essay. And number four is your essay. And number five is your essay. Okay? And as you well know, 100 marks, 100 marks, 100 marks, 100 marks, 100 marks, okay? Uh, and the document based question will be on the United States and the world, the three topics that you do there. Okay, and then you're going to have two essays on Ireland. This course is going to be focusing on the topic Sovereignty Partition 1912 to 1949 and Northern Ireland 1949 to 1993. So, two of your essays, your further essay, then will be your second Europe and the world topic. We we'll start by looking a little bit at the project, okay, and uh, how that's going, and of course that's due in currently and still on April 24th, but we said that the SEC haven't uh, put out any new information about that as yet. Um, most of you will have your project done, I might imagine, at this stage, so we show you the model of what you should do, you can review your project, uh, maybe make some changes, some alterations, it's a very, very good area to get marks. Some of you will get 100 out of 100 out of your project. So that's the first part of the course, and uh, that's what we look at now. So, when we're looking at your project, we're really looking at four areas of your project. Marks. Evaluation of sources equals 25 marks. Center essay equals 50 marks and the review. Marks which will give you a total of 100. Okay, uh, we'll go through these now and we'll have a look first of all at the outline plan as we can see. Right, uh, there's a little bit of advice further up there on the screen if I can just go up a little bit. The outline plan, the evaluation sources, the extent of lesson, the review of the research process, you'll find this in, in your pack. So, when we're choosing our title, first of all, uh, lots of good titles are narrow, narrow in their focus, and of course, you need to have the know, a little bit of knowledge of historical content. This is your essay partner. I would always put in your introduction that you're putting your project and you're framing it inside the historical content. Uh, it's stipulated the topic was before 1992 or 1993, so, and uh, also it's, it's advisable that you pick a topic that's not really on your course, that you're not studying. So, for example, I wouldn't do something like the Anglo-Irish Treaty Negotiations, seeing so it's a case study in your course and you're already studying that. Uh, you need three sources, and uh, you need to pose and ask a question based on, and you answer a question according to the sources that you've chosen. Okay? And uh, that's a very, very important part of history, of course. 
Um, and people choose a mixture of sources, primary sources, secondary sources, internet sources, documentaries, books, of course, for historians use mostly. Um, so these are a, a, a mix of the sources, and three sources are, are where you get your information, and that's what you base your answer on. A very clear title, and uh, you should really have a start date and an end date of your project, and this frames it nicely within those sorts of things. So like, uh, like the questions that you choose in the exam, the ones when you choose the question in the exam, the one with the start date and the end date is uh, often the one that you, you should do. Uh, you should have possibly a scope for debate among their sources, so you need source references within your project, which we'll look at in a minute, and a conclusion which allows you to assess your aims. And uh, don't copy, don't plagiarize, uh, don't cut and paste. There's lots of websites out there, there probably lots of projects out there, uh, but it, does, it is quite obvious if it's your own work or not. Okay? So if we look at the first part of the project, then the outline plan, this will be the first page of your project. Uh, there's nine marks available for these three things. Define what you are doing, define what you're just to, just to define and justify. This is for your title, you say what your title is, and why, why it's justified, why look at it, why it's worthy of historical investigation. And then your aims, you should have three aims. Three aims, and you should refer to these aims when you do the review later on. When you're talking in the review, you should say, oh well I achieved, not only achieved my aims, but specific aims. You talk about your first aim, your second aim, your third aim. And your approach. How do you tend about going about doing your study? What the plan is, where are you going to get your information, how are you going to get it, uh, how are you going to interrogate that information, that sort of thing. Okay? So that's nine marks, and you should all be getting nine out of nine for that. And uh, uh, you can print off, we'll show you in a minute, we'll, you can print off a sample booklet of the SEC, the State Examinations website, and you can fill in that front page to see that everything fits nicely, like I'll show you in a minute. And then, of course, there's six marks for your three sources. This also comes on the outline page, not on this page, it comes on the outline plan page, it comes at the bottom of the page. For example, okay, surname, first name, key Robert, the name of this book, the publisher, the place, and the year. Now, that's an example of a source reference and how we would put a source reference in, and you will have three of those at the bottom. If it's a internet source, you put the author, you don't just write down Wikipedia, right? You'll only get maybe one mark for that. So for two marks, you put down the full URL, the author, the date and the time looked at. Okay? If you're using an online newspaper from the past, you try and look at the issue number, the date, the author of the article, Title of publication, similar to this. And the same there with the documentary, any of those sorts of things, full, clear reference to the source. And that's the other part. So you should be looking for 15 out of 15 in that particular part. Let's look at an example. Ooh. This is from last year's leave insert. And uh, what were the key events? This is a, there's a copy of this in, in, in your, your pack. What were the key events surrounding Bloody Sunday and their impact on Michael Collins and IRA activity in November and December 1920? So very, very narrow, wasn't it? And there's a nice title. And you see the title takes the form of a question, right? And uh, it's, uh, it's looking at what were the key events, the key events and the impact. So it's looking focusing on consequences. In other words, it's focusing on a historical skill. And if we look at how the candidate laid out 